Praise the Lord. Welcome back to today's morning daily devotional. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I hope you had a great night. Well, I'm Charles Lungabo here again. And um, as usual, we delve into the scriptures and we edify one another. We sharpen one another here. Today is a day for your glory, a day for your miracle. God has a miracle for you with your name on it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, let's just go straight to the scriptures again. Um, remember, this is a devotional. So you're devoted to it. You come back to it every day and feed on the word of God. And that word will take you through the entire day, believing God and walking head high and receiving the good things that God has in store for you for that day. Answers will be in these sessions. Amen. Your answer, your miracle is in this session. As you hear the word of God, the Holy Spirit will produce answers for you that you have been asking God for for a very long time. So stay tuned. Come back every day. And I assure you, God has a miracle for you in Jesus' mighty name. Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. I'll read from the Amplified Version. He did not, he who did not spare or withhold even his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also with him freely and graciously give us all other things? The Holy Spirit is asking a question. In other words, he is telling you that he has an answer for you, for all the things that you need. They are embedded in that verse, that all things that you need in life came to you the moment that you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Those things are yours. They became your possession. You will never lack anything that was not provided for in the redemption through Jesus Christ. So he is telling you, the moment the Father released Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us, inside that sacrifice, inside that uh, crucifixion, inside that redemption, is anything that you will ever need or require here on earth. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is good news. Now, our part is to discover how do I receive the rent bills? How do I receive my house? How do I receive my wife? How do I receive my answer? How do I receive from God the thing that is pending in my life? How do I receive my healing, my prosperity, my abundance? How do I receive the power of God so that I can function in this world above everyone else or above my peers in the name of Jesus? How do I receive it? How do I receive the wisdom of Christ in the name of Jesus? Well, here is one of the answers. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Now, now, in other words, Jesus died then, but now, now, this is how you access what he died for now. He says, now we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, but the Holy Spirit who is from God given to us that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts of divine favor and blessing so freely and lavishly bestowed on us by God. God has freely bestowed or released upon you. Lavishly means abundantly poured upon you. His gifts, his his provision, his favor, his mercy, his grace, <coughs> his power. He has abundantly poured it upon your life when he gave you himself. That is the Holy Spirit. He says, given to us that we might realize, that we might make real eh? the thing that you need. If you need a house, the Holy Spirit came to make that house real into your life. If you need money, 
the Holy Spirit came to make that money real, realize, to make it real in your life. And today we are fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit so that we might realize, comprehend, or lay hold upon the things that God has freely bestowed upon us. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Father. We give you praise, Lord. The healing is in our bodies. The healing is in our lives because you came to make it real by the Holy Spirit. We receive you, Holy Spirit. We walk with you today. And these things that we desire, these things that you came to bring to us, we they are made real. The salvation is made real by the Holy Spirit. The, the wisdom of God is made real by the Holy Spirit. Spirit, the provisions, the security, the, the, the understanding, the, the, the power of God is all made real in our lives. Lord, because of the Holy Spirit, we love you, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Lord of glory. We give you praise. We honor you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, we lay a hold of our miracles today. We lay a hold of the lavish abundance, the lavish blessings, the lavish favors, the lavish gifts that you have brought to us, that you have poured out upon us. We lay a hold of them today in the name of of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, press the subscribe button today and right now. God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.